Hey new bodies, back here for episode number five. This is the second in our 10 part series covering our 10 principles that we feel are really the core to changing your life. Remember, people don't change, lives do. Yesterday we covered Track It, which is all about finding a way to capture some specifics about your body, about your workouts, something that you're trying to change, improve on, and get to last. The next one, number two, is go public. You really want to be open about what you're doing and sort of throwing down the gauntlet or putting a line in the sand to say, hey, this is what I'm trying to achieve and this is what I'm trying to do it by. It's almost like stating your goals out to the world and then talking about your progress through that. When we do that, we're really putting ourselves on the line here and making ourselves responsible for what we're doing. You can say to yourself, I'm going to you know, exercise today. Today is going to be the day. But when you tell other people you're going to do it, suddenly you feel a bit of peer pressure to actually follow through and do it. That peer pressure can be a really great motivating tool to help keep you honest, keep you on course. And you'll find that you will probably get more support for what you're doing than ridicule. So you'll get people who will say, you know, right on, or great job, or wow, that's, that's great to see that, or you've inspired me to do the same. That's the kind of stuff that lifts you up and keeps you going through it. You'll also find that that peer pressure really makes it all seem very real to you and gives you a bit of drive. So I know for me, I was very nervous about getting into running and signing up for a race. Really nervous about it. So much so that I actually registered for a race but didn't tell anyone. Didn't even tell my wife. Because I, I wasn't really sure if I was going to go through it. I felt very iffy about it and uncomfortable. I was scared because the last time I raced I was probably 10 years old and uh, very overweight, passed out. Next thing I know, I'll wake up in a lake uh, trying to cool off. It's not a good scene. So I've always had this trepidation about it. But one day I decided, you know what? I registered for this thing. I'm going to say something about it. So I went on Facebook and I posted to it. It was a charity race. So I posted a link for the donation site. And uh, all of a sudden I was overcome by this feeling of, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to follow through. And I actually felt like uplifted and confident about the whole thing. That's part of going, going social and being social about it is telling others. You not only create that peer pressure, but you also create a sense of pride. So, you know, I've told everyone I'm going to do this. I want to do this. I want to follow through. I want to be seen as that person who actually accomplished this. Um, oddly enough, I didn't get to do that race because I got injured. But the following year, I signed up again. And I immediately went out and I stated that I was doing it and I signed up for a few other events and immediately went out and stated the same. And that made me feel that ownership of it and feel that pride and that excitement for it. Same thing with all of my goals and, and things that I was tracking. So you use that tracking to, uh, to go social and be social. When I had set a goal for myself around weight loss, I went out and I said that. I said what the date that I was hitting for was. And I said what it was I was trying to achieve. And every day, as I was tracking it, I'd post out, I'd tweet, or I'd put on Facebook, you know, this is where I am, this much more to go. And it, it sort of made it energizing. And it gave me a feeling of ownership. And it gave me motivation. And it gave me confidence and pride. And all these things that uplifted me and helped me get to that point. So be social. Don't be afraid to tell the world what you're doing and how you're doing it. That's just another way within our 10 principles that you can enlighten your body.